We're out to find broken, useless websites and give them a purpose to grow your business. Hello, this is David Grubb from Shepherd's Law, and welcome to a Good Place to Eat web design series. In this first episode, we are going to make our first pass at designing the homepage for a good place to eat. Um, so we're going to focus in on just the content, which is going to be the pictures and the, the text to be able to tell the customer's story. So we're going to be using a pre-made layout today. Uh, this is the catering layout pack for Divery. You can find it on the elegantthemes.com website. And you can see here, this is the, the layout that we're going to use. Uh, and specifically, we've chosen the about page because it's got most of the sections. You can see it here. Uh, here's a closer up picture of the about page. So it's, this layout has the sections that we want to use in order to tell the story for the customer. And so we're going to make this page, this layout, the home, the home page layout. So if you're ready to get started, let's jump into it. So we're logged into our website, our WordPress website, and we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new page and add the pre-made layout. So I go to new, click on page. I'm gonna put in a title first. And before I go into the Divi Builder, I want to go over, since this customer doesn't have a logo, this is a startup business, uh, so oftentimes we kind of build a site uh, with just a basic color scheme and things, and then we come back and add a logo. So we really just want to get this customer jump started. So without a logo, we don't really have a defined color palette, and that also means that we're not going to have navigation, we're only going to have a single page. So we're going to change this. Uh, this home page into just a blank template so over on the right side you go to page attributes template and we're going to change it from default to blank what this does is it hides the uh, the logo and the main navigation on the very top of the page so that we just have the banner and we can put the name of the business without a logo so now that that's saved we are going to go into the uh, use Divi Builder once our choices come up, we want to choose the middle option, choose a pre-made layout, click on the purple button, Browse Layouts. Over on the left, under Search, type in Catering. And then we want to use the About Layout. We'll click on that, and then click on the green button that says Use This Layout. All right, we got our pre-made layout loaded, and so we're going to begin by just on the just starting with the header, and we're going to put the name of the company in. Um, I usually like to go into the settings versus just pasting the content through the uh, the iBeam editor. Uh, I like to go into the settings and make sure that I'm not putting extra code in there. So in the title, I'm going to put the name of the business, a good place to eat, and then I'm going to scroll down and in the text box I'm going to put in their tagline okay. and then their call to action which I missed, is going to just simply be uh, to schedule schedule meals So now that we've got the text in, <clears throat> let's see if we can add in a personal photo. Now these are not professional photos, but they are the food that he cooked. So I feel like it's more important to be original than it is to <clears throat> portray something that, that's not hidden. So we're going to go over to, I guess we're looking for background. So content, background. Okay, so it doesn't look like... So it may be in the background of the section versus the versus the widget. So let's go to the purple section and go to the click on the gear and then go to background and click on image. 
and so we can see that the image is here so let's see if we can replace this image with something else uh, we really want a, a food picture here um, even though part of the story is about bringing food to where the people are so let's see if we have anything that may fit this in this section uh, this one here these muscles have a white background so that might work better <clears throat> this one has kind of a dark background on the top so let's see if we can get this picture here to work for us it's actually kind of cool that it's cut off we just need less gradient so we're going to save that and then we're going to go back to the the module click on the gear and go down to the gradient so background and then looks like our gradient is here and we can adjust the in position by sliding it so that's looking pretty good there it'd be nice if it was a little brighter on the side so there's 80 percent so the gradients coming just 20 percent across and so the image is filling the area a lot more It'd be nice to brighten up the image some more but unfortunately it, it may affect the whole uh, the whole banner so but we can try it so we're on the full width header settings we're in the module so it's probably going to change the colors of our text as well um, but we'll just check and see um, if we could increase the the saturation Yeah we, yeah, we can see that the, the button color changes. So we're going to leave that at 100. Okay. So there we go. We got our first section completed. We've got our banner done. So in this next section, we want to really kind of put, this, put everything in a situation here. Um, and I don't have a specific section here. Um, this section might have worked. But we really, I think we want to just want to use one statement. Um, so we're going to just delete that one and we're going to add our own up here. Um, actually, we could probably leave it down here. So let's put it down here. And we just want to say, make one short statement about uh, what the situation could be really for the customer. So, so a lot of times when you go on vacation, you don't want to cook and clean. So that's the message that we want to we want to get across here. So spend t less time cooking and cleaning. While on vacation. See normally this would be an H2 so we could make this an H3. Content, text, go back to visual, we can select all the text and then change that to an H3 heading. And then let's center this. We'll go to design, heading text, H3, and then we can click under heading 3 text alignment, we click the center button. So again, this is not very, so we need to bring more attention to this. So what we could do is maybe put this in a in a colored background or something that's really going to kind of pop out so let's do let's try a full width section and let's see we've already got We've already got the module that we want to use, so let's see if we can drag that down. Oh, okay, so let's do header module. 
and let's put the text into there. And we'll just delete the other copy. Okay, then we'll go over to design and go to title text. Okay, so let's change that to an H3, center that. We'll bump up the size. Nice if we had a color that we could use with this. We may come back to that later. So we can delete this section here. Okay, and we'll just leave that call to action there. So let's go back up to the section above that and let's talk about the situation. So after they choose their meals, this is really about them getting to be able to eat in places you wouldn't normally eat, like outdoors or by the river or in a park or just really anywhere. Uh, something other than just a regular restaurant. So let's put that copy into here. I go and click on text and then paste. That way I may make sure that I'm not getting unnecessary information. So I like this section here, in an area with limited cuisine choices, we bring faves to you. So let's make that the title here, so that I'll be in H2, and we'll delete our story. So now we need a good image to go along with, with our statement here. Also, this text below could be a little bigger or called out a little better. We could try putting that in bullets. And then maybe going to the paragraph to the text. So design text. And let's just bump up the size. So there's a 22. And then we can adjust the line height as well. Wow, but it doesn't work very well on bullets. So let's go back and just remove these bullets. So I select it and click the bullet tab. So the text is bigger, more readable. Okay, I'm gonna save that. I really want the second section to be, to have this picture, uh, this full size picture of, of outdoor living spaces. Um, so let's see what we got here. So we may swap that out. Let's try to see see if we have a vertical one to put here with this section. Um, so we have this nice depth space here. So we can try that one. And then maybe this one on the left could be used in a full width section. So yeah, this is a portrait one. So maybe this will work better here. So that's a nice outdoor setting. So that feels good. And then this section, let's try adding the other image. Okay, but we have to remove the color background here. So we go to content, background, and I'm going to click on the transparent link. Okay. And then you can see it's really kind of small and skinny. This is a beautiful picture, so we want to make that bigger. So we're going to go to design, sizing, and here we have minimum height, height. So let's try, let's just try 500. You got to do it really quick so that it gets all in there. And I'll go ahead and set the other two fields to be the same, the height and the max height to 500, so it all kind of matches up. Now we've got a beautiful picture of here, this outdoor setting. Hopefully this helps set the scene. Looks like we're gonna need some, some padding, to bring our text down. Um, it feels weird at top. It's a little busy at the bottom, but if we could put it right under the table, that would be good. And then 
to make it stand out more we can also add a drop shadow so we'll go to design and I believe this was the title text then we'll go down to title text shadow and then I like to change the title text shadow color to black so that it's a little harder so that it stands out more if it's uh, too bold you can adjust the blur strength but at least along the edges of the text it's very dark so it's more readable Okay. so this is really kind of set the scene um, this could be a picture of food as well in an area with limited cuisine choices we bring you faves to you so let's try let's maybe swapping this one out and having another food picture instead of an outdoor scene we've got something that looks really appetizing uh, we've got the soup and we've got this salad here this is very delicate this grapefruit asparagus salad so let's try that one It's not really set on a white background, so it doesn't work as well as we would like for it to. So let's see if we've got another option. Um, the soup is kind of on a white background, except for the corners. Uh, we have this meat dish here, the beef tenderloin. Could try it. Okay, so it's square. So it's just that our title text has taken up too much space. So what we can do is take out this part. So we'll go in to edit this text and just reduce the amount of the title. Okay, so we took that out. That looks a little bit cleaner there. There's still a lot of text here. We bring you fa we bring your faves to you. Taco Tuesday. How about sipping wine with friends over an intimate upscale Italian dish? So let's just keep that one statement in the middle we'll just reduce this to make it cleaner looking more readable that's much better so our background of image is is white from the plate matches this area a little better and then we've got a nice uh, setting picture here okay so those sections are looking really good what we don't have is another call to action so we'll just look and see what we need to make that happen in a minute <clears throat> So in the next section here, we want to talk about we want to talk about the chef's expertise. And so we're going to put in some information about him. Paste that in, uh, and to change, we want to change the font sizes again. So we'll go to design. Um, could probably do this in the global settings, um, but we'll go ahead and do that here now. We may come back later and 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 uh, standardize it. So I'm going to go to design text, and I think we did 22 before. Okay. 
Now, I'm going to pause here for a second. I'm going to upload a picture of our chef to add in, and then we can move forward. Okay, so we're going to upload a picture of Chef John, so I'm going to click on the gear. Uh, this picture is going off the side of the page, which is kind of cool, but I don't think it's going to work for our, our Chef picture. It says image, so I thought it was in the background. It looks like it's just placed here, so let's see if this is going to work for us. I'm going to go to upload and select this from my computer. And go to desktops and then find the project folder and then click on the image click open and this is just a really fun picture I think it shows his personality uh, he was at the uh, here we go. He's at the church. Serving. So I'm going to click the checkbox for that. And I love the purple. He's got this camo. There's a purple background banner. So we're going to leave that as it is. It's looking really good. Uh, let's add his name over here. Our chef. John, our chef. Or we can just do Chef John. All right, so I was just editing text, so I used the I beam there. I'm not changing the font size, color, or anything like that. The picture is a little bit tall. Not crazy about the hot dogs down there, but um, you know, again, we can come back and we can probably edit that down. So let's see if we can actually hide part of that picture. We may have to go and edit it. So we'll come back and do that at the second pass. But this is really talking about John, which is great. So, so far, just recapping, um, we've got our header up here, um, a good place to eat. Uh, this text here is too small. I can see that now. So let's go back and make that bigger. Uh, we're good feed. So that's the body text here. So go to design text. Uh, we'll probably need to go to body text. And we're going to put that at least at 22. Probably could go a little bit more. Well, let's do 28. Here we go. And then this section is reading well. In an area with limited cuisine choices, we bring your faves to you. How about sipping wine with friends over an intimate upscale Italian dish? although that doesn't look Italian. <laughs> um, so we may have to substitute something out there. The, the mussels is more of an Italian dish, I, I suppose, than that one. 
uh, then we got a nice outdoor setting spend less time cooking and cleaning while on vacation and then we got information about chef John so the team section we're really not going to need this section at all so let's see what we want to add uh, next So I think we're just going to delete this section. See how far that goes down. Okay, delete that. Okay. So the next section is really you know, what he does and the different types of food. So it might be nice to showcase some different foods or do the call to action here. Um, so let's do that. Let's do the call to action. So what we do. So really, it's it's plan your next meal. And in this section, I think what we want to use is is kind of a one, two, three process. Um, I like this box down here, the drop off catering. So our steps are to to request the meals, talk to the chef and chef, and then drop off catering. Or we could say schedule meals. Put this one over here. So we'll reuse some of these icons here, this bottom row. So we have the schedule, schedule your meals, talk to the chef, and then and then, then receive your food or arrange delivery. So we'll delete this row on top. We will not need the more information. So this will be schedule your meals. Chef. And then arrange delivery. All right, so we just have one piece of text here that we want to change. I'm going to go ahead and save this. Okay, so I'm having difficulty accessing this box. The I beam comes off, and I really just want to access that module and paste my content. So let's go into the the wireframe or graphical view. And then we can go to text and then paste in the sentence that we want. Uh, click the check mark to save, then we can go back to desktop view. There we go. Tell me what you would like, and I will personalize the menu for you. So, again, I'm having difficulties accessing that section. We can make that text larger. We also need to change the background image. Um, so again, we've got uh, we've got John. We got the setting. We got some food. Could probably use another picture of food here. You can also double click if you get the move tool. You can double click and then access the settings. Um, so it doesn't look like the picture is in this section here.
Oh, yes it is actually. We just couldn't see the plate for some reason. Okay, so let's see if we have a background image we could put in here. So this one is centering instead of going off to the side like the other photo. Let's see if we can do top right. That would slide it over. Or center, center right. That would bring it up some. And I wonder if we can put a gradient on it to kind of smooth it in. So we'll go back to, see we're on content, we'll go to the gradient tab, so we want to start with white, and then we want to go to gradient. probably have to select place gradient above background image so we have to click that okay so now we can see it's it's top to bottom but we won't left to right so we'll change the gradient direction we'll just slide that over to 90 degrees and then adjust our starting position to where it covers up the edge of the left edge of the photo and then we can back off on the in position to somewhere in the middle. Okay. And that looks pretty that looks pretty good. Some fish tacos. Alright, so this next section here we're not gonna need at all. I like the orange background, so we may want to use that. Even though the button is orange, which kind of conflicts. So I really want to use whatever the call to action color is one time so I don't want to use the same background color for this so we could use but either way this section is going away are you frustrated with trying to write content for your website learn the web design software and overcome all the technology challenges to get the website launched we understand what it's like to spend hours writing designing and launching a website don't waste your time and money on something that you don't enjoy. We can easily walk you through an affordable process of creating a web design with a purpose. You will be stress-free and feel like a successful business person. All you have to do to get started is visit shepherdsloft.com and book a free web design with a purpose appointment. Plan your meals, testimonials. We don't have any of those at the time, but we'll save this section for later. Later, um, so I'm just going to click on the triple dot, disable. Click on mobile, tablet, and desktop. So that'll hide that for now. And to get the little drop down, gray drop down menu to disappear, I just click on the triple dot again. That that will hide it. Okay. So we got a couple more sections that we want to add. Um, so we this is kind of in a three column here. This is a two column. So in this next section, maybe we can go back to a two column or a single column. We're going to do a regular section. And then we'll do two column. And let's see. We want to be this to be more of the story. So we're going to we're gonna put a text 
in this left column here. Okay, and we're gonna bump that text size up by going to design, text, text size, we'll go to, I think we were doing 22, and adjusting the line height. So this looks like it's more, this is a long bit of information, so we're gonna make it uh, one third I'm recording. So we're going to make this left column a two thirds, one third. So we'll click on the change column structure and we'll go to this two-third, one-third. That'll give that text a little bit more room. And it won't be so tall. And then on the right side, we're gonna add an image. And if we add another tall image, we've got one here of this place setting. So we can try that one. It's very tall. So this text is just a little bit long still. Uh, we could go to a full width section here. Could try that. Or we could try breaking the content up. Could take out this last paragraph and add a new section in for it. So this is regular section. And so we'll do a two thirds right. with the image on the left and let's add in so we did a, a scene on the top picture so let's definitely do some food on this picture uh, let's try this chicken salad all right and then this paragraph is really long So let's see if we can break this into two sentences. And there's another sentence here. So we can bring that out in a separate paragraph. We'll go to design, text. And again, we're gonna go to size 22 on the text. And then I think 1.8 on the text line height so this picture here has got a dark background so let's see if we can mimic that that color something with like a dark red so we go to background we'll start with the red and then kind of go to go to the color picker Probably just a black, just a simple black, even though it's got coloring around. It looks like it's on a, you know, some kind of table of some sort. So that will help the food pop out. So we'll save that. And then we'll make this text white or reverse it. So you can go in the search options, just type in light, L-I-G-H-T, and then change the text color to light. There we go. So this mixes things up for us. Uh, I mean, nice that the food picture was a little bit bigger. So we probably could go, we could try to go back to 
there that makes the picture bigger but the text is kind of small but that's okay then we have some breathing room down here we don't have to fill all the space so this picture is it's kind of light it kind of goes with the with the with the background and this one is dark this picture goes with the dark background so that's looking pretty good so then this section I think what we want to do is put our plant our call to action plant our meals underneath so let's drag this section underneath this dark section so that the call to action is next and I don't think it moved on us so here we go let's try that again except this is the section we want to move I'm not getting my move tool for this one so let's go down to the section below and drag it up instead So this picture is on the left and then this one, I mean on the right, and this one's on the right. So it might be nice if we flipped this section here with John so that these pictures or images are not touching. And this one's on the right as well. So we've ended up with all the pictures on the right side. So let's just drag this picture over to the other side and then put this text on the right. Now this is board edge to edge here, but it's not up here, so we'll have to decide aesthetically if we want the edges to touch or not. Um, if this was filling the space over here, that might look a little bit better. But this one has space here. It might be better that these sections have space instead. Um, so as we click on the line on the blue line and drag it down You should be able to see a lock I think it's on the space above and so you can see there's a, a little Faintly there's a little lock there that will make the same at the top and the bottom so we'll back that to 50 and it's locked so that'll create the same amount of space on the other side of the section so there's 50 on that one click the lock and that'll do add the same to the bottom Again, we're trying to move these sections up. Chef John. Okay, plan your meals. So this section here, we want to go up one more. There we go. So we've got a dark section. I don't mind this touch touching here. This actually looks really nice. And the bottom of the photo is wider. So that all kind of blends in well together. And then this picture has space around it. All right. Uh, there was a little bit of text left here, uh, but we've got the how to. Which is gonna be the call to action for the bottom here. So ignoring the testimonial section, uh, the call to action Should be we'll make that an H2. So request your vacation meals today. I'm just gonna take out the so and then we'll take out this bottom text. Or we can repeat his 
his statement. His tagline, where, where good food comes to you. At this point, we want them just to click the button. We don't want to just talk to them much anymore. <laughs> and then the actual button text. Okay, is done separately. So we'll come over, click on the gear, and then the button text is schedule your meals. Right, so the only thing we have is this background photo. Which is a really nice picture. But I think what I would like to do is add some texture here. I have some some pasta. Don't know how this is gonna work out, but we'll try it. And then we'll try to do a gradient and we'll go from white. Transparent place place gradient above background image. And that green is actually kind of nice, surprisingly. So the white, this is going to be transparent. That's 68, 70% there. And the green doesn't look so good with the pasta. But if we did something that was yellow, yellowish, something a little warmer, closer to the color of the pasta. And then back out and then reduce the amount of opacity. There's seventy percent there. That's pretty bold. All right, it'd be nice if the the top was a little bit more white. I'd like to go for it completely to white to have a little feather up there. So let's see if we can do that. We can adjust this starting position, or actually, the white color can be a hundred percent white. There we go. And then it fades into nothing. We'll just give that a little more spacing at the top. Okay, we're gonna save draft. Wow, that looks pretty strong there. Uh, we need this button throughout the page, so we need more buttons. So we're gonna add this to the library. So this is the schedule mills button and we'll make this global. Okay, and as we scroll back up, we definitely want to put one somewhere right here. Uh, we have a space here on this black section, which is kind of the end of the story. We have Chef John, uh, more information about the process. So this place here might be a good place to put a button. So we click the gray plus button, then we click add from library, and then we click our green schedule meals button. Um, so it's off to the left, so it might not be exactly the way we want it. Uh, this banner actually would make a great place to put a button and then we wouldn't have to worry about putting one here. So let's see if we can add one to this banner here and that would be centered as well. But it's not available in our full width module. But we could probably add it to here.
I don't want to apply any styles to the button because I really want to style it from the theme customizer. So we'll have to bring this text up to some place where it makes sense. But the button does need to be centered. I guess for now we'll have to use this customize option. It only has a right and a left. So this is really not going to work for us here the way we want it. We want this one to be centered. So we may have to rebuild this instead of with the full width section, just use a regular section and put it in the background. So We'll have to adjust that so that we can put our button in the way we want it. Um, so let's see what we got. We've got our header banner, which I really feel like this needs to be bigger. Um, so when they come to the website, it's more of the whole screen. Yeah, I feel like there's an overlay happening here, but I'm not sure where that's located. We can check here. There we are. So the starting position is on the right side. But if we pull that over you know, 20%, we can see a lot more of the, the image. So the gradient is taking place more of in the middle. Okay. That gives us a little more full color, color on the image. This takes up more of the screen. Then we can start telling the story here. Um, so we need to rebuild this section here so that we can do a centered button. So let's do that. We're going to do a regular section. And we want the single column. We'll need a text box. And then we also want to add our button from the library. Add from library schedule meals button. So we want to take this text, put it in here. Okay, that's an H3. Go to design, heading text, H3 tab, and center that. Um, so we already know that we're going to bump, want to bump up the size on that, so we'll go to 33. And we'll also adjust the line height and just so it'll separate from the button more. I'm going to click the drop shadow icon. Drop shadow is going to be black. Um, then the could change the blur a little bit to 0.13. And then this text is going to need to be white. Okay. Then we're ready to add our background. So we'll go to the section, click on the gear, background and then the image tab and we want to select this photo here the outdoor living space well, okay so we're gonna leave that at the height it's at right now we're gonna delete this previous section okay and uh, so then we can adjust our spacing from the section and we can lock that spacing if it's not already locked So it's really about how much of this picture we want to use to get the message across. I feel like I feel like less is less is more here in this case. I like the spacing above and below the text and the button. So so maybe instead of taking up a whole bunch of space, it's just kind of clean. All right. So now we've got the button here at the top, the full banner. Um, we've got some information, we've got the button again, then we're telling the story, uh, and then we've got the button here. So the only problem is this button is not is centered and we don't really want it to be. But I 
think if we if we make it aligned left, then it's probably not. It's going to change all the other ones. So. Let's just try moving it down here. I don't think it's going to work there either. Okay. We've got this nice alteration of image, white background, image, white background. So this is really the only section that's not kind of flowing with the other ones. This one's got the dark background. These sections go together well. So if these were just overlapping or interacting a little bit better, then that would certainly work. Um, and that could be moving this row up into the previous section so that the sections are together. And we can drag the the top margin up so there's a negative 120 pixels then it kind of overlaps we also can pull this down to give us more space maybe bring this back down so that it's kind of lining up with the bottom so then these sections look like it belongs together a little bit more Right, it's looking a little better. And I think we have an empty section here we can delete. It's really coming together. So we're only missing one little section here, which is the frequently asked questions. So if we could add those in here, that would be great. So we're going to add a regular section. Um, so this is at three columns. This is a single column underneath. And you know we want to alternate because it's just so that it's not the same pattern. That's what kind of creates the layout and the unique mix of it, makes it unique. So we'll do a, a two column here. So we're kind of going from a three to a two to a one. And uh, we're going to put the accordions in. And also putting the accordions in a two column layout makes it more mobile friendly. Um, so then you, on the, or desktop friendly rather, because if we just put it in a single column, then the FAQ is going all the way across the page and the text is not very readable. Um, but you can see how this, there's the right number of words per line here. So what I'm going to, I'm going to save this. I'm going to exit out and come back in. I actually have the FAQs already built into an accordion, and we're just going to add those from the library. Um, so I'm going to save that and hit publish. Okay. Then I'm going to exit the Visual Builder. So in order to, if you save something to the library on a separate page, then uh, in order to access the library then you need to be able to you know save the page exit and, and then re-enable okay so we're going to enable the visual builder again we're going to go back in So now we can hit the the plus to add a module. We can add from library, and here's our FAQs. And uh, so this is a pretty long. Uh, it's not long. I think there was only nine or ten. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we'll leave five in one column. 
We'll make a copy of this. We'll put five in the left column and four in the right. So in the left column, we just need to delete the last four FAQs. One, two, three, four, five. Or is there more? Did I miscount? One, two. So here's the first alcoholic beverages here. So there's one, two, three, four. So I'm going to delete one more from the left column. In the right column, I'm just going to take the last. Let's see, we're going to delete the these first ones that are duplicates, starting with the second one, local to LJ. I'm going to delete that one, that one. So the vegetarian dish, which is here. Okay, then I'm going to take the last one and actually put the content into the first first one. So I'll take this question copy that and just replace the first one that's already open so I don't have to deal with the settings so click on the gear copy the content save click on the gear paste and then I can delete the last one because it's duplicate now okay so we got five on the left and five on the right uh, this definitely needs some styling um, in here, um, so we can work on that. Click on the gear. So under design, we're going to the title text. It's got an H5. Uh, let's see in this previous section these actually should be that should be a two that should be a three and then uh, We were going to go back up to a three. We're going to need another title here to say what the section is But we can change these to threes Design Oops uh, title text h3 Right, so we're also going to need, so we'll have to create a new row. So we can put in a title for this section. We'll click the move tool and drag it to the top. I'm going to copy the title there. paste it in so actually that didn't give me the styles so if I duplicate this module I can drag that module to the section below and then we'll center this section by going to the gear design heading text it should be an h2 Center. And then we'll also go to the text. The top. Scroll down till we can find the center. Okay, I'm going to go to the row settings and check the column. So it is a full width. But it looks like we've got some spacing or something that's controlling where it's sitting. So So 
so it might be in the column structure so we'll go to the check the spacing the transform okay So there's some settings in this module. Uh, we can try resetting it because we really want it to go centered. So we'll reset this module. It goes all the way across, but then we have to reset our fonts. Which I don't even know what the font is. Okay, so we'll have to go up and get our font style. Um, which is April. So we go to design, heading text, H2, go into April, center, I'm not sure what size that other one is. 55 looks pretty close. I'm going to go back up to text. We'll go to 22 on that. And then we'll also change the line height to give us more space. And then center. Okay, that took a little more effort than, than uh, we thought it would take, but we got it in there. It looks uh, like this section. Uh, we actually got to change the text now to say something different. So these are um, good place to eat uh, questions and answers. So So we just need a little, one little sentence here to just continue the story. So let me grab some text from our document. So again, if you're having problems accessing, we'll use the I-beam, then it kind of remembers. So we'll go over to the wireframe, and then we can click on the settings. Then we can paste in our content. We also want to make sure our font size, I think we already adjusted that. So then we can go back to the desktop view. Okay. Make your next food experience full of joy and satisfaction, more diversity in cuisine. Nice. All right, so there's our FAQs. And that's it. Let's save. Okay, this is looking really good. Uh, this is going to conclude our episode. We've completed our first draft of this web design uh, from a pre-made template. Um, of course, we've added some modifications and used some sections in different ways, uh, but we've been able to tell our story, add our photographs. Uh, from now, where we have just the default fonts in, we have a little bit of texture. Um, and a little bit of color scheme. So things are moving along for us. We're going to go back and do some a little more research and review and look at this again uh, tomorrow. That way we can get some fresh ideas and look, and look at things that we may have missed before we show it to the customer. So uh, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you in the next episode.